Hi everyone, welcome to our kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. I have got such a really quick and easy sourdough recipe for you guys today. It is for sourdough butter crackers and these are so crispy and flaky and buttery. You can eat them with soup or as a snack with cheese. They are just so versatile and so easy to make and I know you're going to love them. So let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is add all of your ingredients to a bowl. So I have melted a stick of butter on the stove top. So just pour that into the bowl along with the salt, the sourdough starter discard, and the flour. I am using einhorn flour right now, but you could use any type of flour. Now I started out with a cup and a half, which is about 180 grams, and kind of see what the uh, dough looks like. If it feels like it's too wet, just add a little bit more. I actually like to add about 200 grams, but just kind of mix it all up, kind of see how it feels. If it feels too wet, just add a little bit more flour. So you're going to want to let this dough rest, and that way the flour can absorb any liquid that's there. So let it rest for about 20 or 30 minutes. Just cover it with a little piece of foil and set it outside. Now at this point, after it's rested, you can bake it right away or you can put this in the fridge and let this long ferment for several days um, or until you're ready to eat it. So once you are ready, go ahead and preheat your oven to 375 degrees and then take the dough and put it between two pieces of parchment paper. Use a rolling pin to roll it out pretty thin. Um, it's gonna be about the thickness of a dime. So you wanna roll it out just as thin as you possibly can because they are gonna puff up a little bit when they bake. So once you have it rolled out, remove that top piece of parchment paper and then use a knife or a bench cutter. Um, I have this little pastry cutter here to cut out strips. So I, I like to make rectangles. Um, once you have those cut, just take a fork and prick each one a few times, and this is gonna keep them from expanding as they bake. So put these in the oven, and you're going to wanna keep an eye on them because they can get burnt around the edges if you're not careful. So I would check on them at about 15 minutes you're not gonna to wanna to let them stay in there for probably longer than 17, depending on your oven. And as they sit, they will get nice and crispy and they're ready to eat. And so yeah, that's it. I really hope you like this recipe. I'm gonna leave a link down below so that you can go to my website and print this out if you'd like to. It has all the instructions on there. So I hope you like this recipe, guys. Thanks, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.